everyone. My name is Aditya and I co-founded Inspirit with the mission of bringing hands-on virtual reality experiences to science and STEM education. I'm going to walk you through our desktop and Mac applications today, um, starting with the learner um, or the student portal. Um, uh, you get to log in to the learner portal with your unique email ID and password that is provided upon login. And once you're in, you're, you're presented with this entire dashboard where you can navigate and search through our ever growing catalog of VR simulations, experiments and lab activities across physics, chemistry and biology. Um, right now, I am going to point your attention right up here to the assignments tab, uh, which is where you can see all the tasks or homework assignments that have been assigned to you if you are enrolled in a classroom or a class. Um, for example, uh, this 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 is an example where you have six different tasks tasks assigned to you, and we're going to just click on one of them, the states of matter example. Um, and uh, once this loads, um, you're able to just essentially jump right in to play this module, actively solve the uh, the ex experiment, and then complete the activity that follows um, the module. So let's get right in. This one is our chemistry states of matter activity where you're essentially in a chemistry lab and you have the ability to dive deep into the microscopic structure of various substances and really understand how the atoms are laid out across the three states of matter. Um, your goal is to complete a series of activities here uh, and then complete uh, the assignment that is provided to you by uh, the instructor. Please note that this is just one of many, many such lab simulations and activities across physics, chemistry and biology that is available on our platform today. I can also minimize the screen um, and uh, view the worksheet that has been provided to me by my teacher. Um, here I'm solving actively a bunch of multiple choice uh, questions that uh, uh, are responses to the activities that I perform in the VR world. And I can keep going through this worksheet by scrolling down. And once I'm done, I can enter the team members if this was a group activity and then hit submit. Um, and once I'm done, I'm back in the assignments tab uh, with my uh, assignment complete. Sim Similarly, and I think you're getting the hang of it, I can now go ahead and do another assignment or a task. This one's a projectile motion um, simulation from a physics lesson, um, and let's jump right in. So what you're seeing here is our physics simulation. Um, it's called the physics playground, where you get the opportunity to move around and essentially learn the basics of projectile motion um, by throwing a ball, by shooting a ball from a cannon, adjusting the time of flight, the height, and various other parameters to really understand the relationship between these quantities. You have complete freedom to explore this world and actively engage in these activities with the goal of completing the assignment that is provided to you by your teacher as part of this um, activity. Similarly, um, I can also get out of this uh, experience into small screen or split screen mode and then complete the worksheet and the assignment that was provided to me. Um, and once I'm done again with this, I'm back in the menu screen. Um, you can also search um, up here by browsing through our catalog and also completing activities at your own free time. Let's now jump straight into the teacher portal and I'll walk you through what uh, the teacher dashboard and experience looks like. Similar to the student portal on the teacher or instructor side, um, you get to log in with your own unique um, email address that is provided upon sign in. And once you're signed in uh, as a teacher, you can see all the courses on the left side that you are currently enrolled in as a teacher. Um, and uh, this is a complete dashboard um, uh, like system for you to manage and look at your students progress as well as assign activities um, and tasks to them real time. So I can straight jump into a specific section. Um, this down here is the history of all the assignments or tasks that have been assigned to my students. Um, up here we have a grade book tab where you can essentially also look at the grades of your students and um, and just uh, look at who's completed assignments, who's missed certain assignments and where students are um, with regards to their progress. But let's jump straight into uh, assigning a new module. Um, this is what the interface looks like for you to assign a new uh, activity to your students. Um, we have selected a periodic trait 
table one, which you can search and select from the catalog. Um, and you can essentially modify um, everything here before you submit it to the students. Um, you can uh, click on the worksheet up here and then actually um, customize your own worksheet by adding your own questions, your own um, activities and tasks that are either aligned with your existing syllabus or curriculum or lesson plans. You can then assign a due date. Um, you can select the grade you want to assign it to. And then once you're done, um, you can also save this worksheet as a custom worksheet. Um, and once it's assigned to the students, um, you get a real time view here of uh, how many students have completed the assignments as they go ahead and, and do the task. And you can also uh, click on this and view um, real time progress um, as well as an individual student's worksheet by clicking um, on their specific name. So it's a super um, intuitive interface um, for you to use um, and assign activities to an entire classroom with just a few clicks. Thank you so much for your time. That was all I had today. Um, uh, just to clarify, this is a walkthrough of the desktop and the Mac, so the PC and the Mac applications. We have almost identical applications also available for virtual reality hardware, such as the Oculus Quest and the HTC Vive. If you have any questions or if we can help you out with anything else, please reach out to us at support at inspiritvr.com or fill out the form on our website. Um, we look forward to working with you. Thank you.